In the field of data science, statistical testing is a crucial yet challenging aspect to master. It plays a significant role in the data analysis process, as it allows researchers and stakeholders to draw informative and accurate conclusions from their data. Statistical testing is a method of evaluating the performance of algorithms and models, as well as identifying patterns and trends in a data set. This method provides insight and confidence in the accuracy of the results, enabling informed decision making. There are several statistical tests that can be used in data science, including the t-test, ANOVA, and chi-square test. Each test has its unique purpose and is used to answer a specific question. It is therefore important for data scientists to have a solid understanding of different type of test and where to use each one in order to draw meaningful conclusions from their data. In summary, statistical testing is an essential tool for data science, providing a systematic and comprehensive approach for exploring and analyzing data sets. It provides insights, confidence, and accuracy in the research process, all of which are crucial for making informed decisions based on data. However, it also requires a deep understanding of the test and how to apply them correctly, making it a challenging but rewarding aspect of data science. Hey everyone, so today we'll get started with types of statistical testing. Statistical tests are crucial tools for drawing meaningful conclusions from data. They allow us to uncover patterns, compare groups, assess associations, and make informed decisions. From t-test for comparing means to c-square test for categorical data, and from correlational test to regression analysis, statistical tests provide a systematic framework for analyzing diverse data types. These tests enable us to explore relationships, identify significant differences, validate hypotheses, and uncover hidden insights. By employing the appropriate statistical test, researchers and analysts can unlock the power of data, unravel complex relationships, and confidently make data-driven decisions. Various types of statistical tests are used to analyze and interpret data in order to make statistical inferences. Here are some types of statistical tests. But before we begin, if these are the type of videos that you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified on our future content. Also, don't forget to like our videos. Back to our statistical tests. So let's begin with the first one, that is t-test. The t-test is a statistical test that compares the means of two groups to determine if there is a significant difference between them. It is commonly used when the data are normally distributed and the variances are assumed to be equal. The t-test considers the sample sizes, means and variances of the groups being compared. It produces a t-value and a corresponding p-value where a smaller p-value indicates a significant difference and the t-test is valuable for hypothesis testing and assessing whether the observed difference between groups is likely due to chance or represents a real effect. Next we have kruskal wallis test. The kruskal wallis test is a non-parametric alternative to ANOVA. It is used to compare the medians of three or more independent groups. The kruskal wallis test is a non-parametric statistical test used to compare the medians of three or more independent groups. It is an extension of the manner whitney u test for comparing two groups. The kruskal wallis test does not assume that the data are normally distributed, making it suitable for non-normal distributions. It ranks the data across all groups, calculates the test static and generates a p-value to determine if there are significant differences among the groups. If the p-value is below a predetermined significance level, it suggests that at least one group differs significantly from the others regarding the medians. Now the next one, Wilcoxon signed rank test. This non-parametric test is used to compare paid samples and repeated measures. It assesses whether there is a significant difference between two related variables. The Wilcoxon's signed rank test is a non-parametric statistical test used to compare paired or matched samples. It is employed when the data do not meet the assumptions required for a parametric test, such as paired t-test. Moving ahead, we have Pearson correlation. Pearson correlation measures the strength and direction of linear relationship between two continuous variables. It assesses the degree of association between them. Pearson correlation is also known as Pearson's correlation coefficient, and it is a statistical measure that quantifies the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two continuous variables. It ranges from minus 1 to plus 1, where minus 1 represents a perfect negative correlation and plus 1 represents a perfect positive correlation and 0 indicates no correlation. Now moving ahead, at the sixth position, we have the Spearman rank correlation. 
This PMN's rank correlation is a non-parametric measure of correlation that assesses the monotontic relationship between two variables. It is suitable for variables that may not have a linear association. Spearman rank correlation RHO is a non-parametric measure of correlation that assesses the monotonic relationship between two variables. It is used when the variables are measured on an ordinal or non-linear scale. The Spearman correlation coefficient ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 with minus 1 indicating a perfect negative monotonic relationship and plus 1 indicating a perfect positive monotonic relationship and 0 suggesting no monotonic relationship. Next on the 7th position we have linear regression. Linear regression is used to model the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. It helps in understanding the impact of independent variables on a dependent variable. It assumes a linear relationship between to find the best fitting line that minimizes the sum of square differences between the observed and predicted values. Moving ahead, we have logistic regression. Logistic regression is a statistical model that predicts binary or categorical outcomes based on one or more independent variables. It estimates the probability of an event occurring by fitting a logistic function to the data. Unlike linear regression, logistic regression uses a linear combination of predictors into a probability. It calculates the odds ratio to measure the impact of each independent variable on the outcome. Moving ahead, we have chi-square test. The chi-square test is a statistical test used to determine if there is a significant association between categorical variables. It compares the observed frequencies of categorical data and the expected frequencies under the assumption of independence. The test calculates a chi-square statistic and generates a p-value and if the p-value is below the chosen significance level, it suggests that there is a significant association between the variables. The chi-square test is commonly used for research areas such as social sciences, market research and genetics to analyze data for goodness to examine the independence between two or more variables. Next, the tenth one on the list is correlational tests. Correlational tests are statistical tests used to measure the strength and direction of the relation between two continuous variables. The most common correlational test is the Pearson's correlation coefficient which assesses linear relationships. It ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 where minus 1 indicates a perfect negative correlation and plus 1 indicates a perfect positive correlation and 0 indicates no correlation. Other correlational tests include Spearman's rank correlation coefficient for assessing monotonic relationships and Kendall's rank correlation coefficient for measuring the strength of association between the variables. Correlation tests help identify the degree and nature of the relationship between variables, aiding in understanding patterns and making informed decisions. Moving ahead to the 11th position, we have ANOVA test. ANOVA or analysis of variance is a study of three or more groups or treatments. It determines if there are significant differences among the group means. ANOVA assesses the variation within and between groups by calculating the F static and generating a P value. If the P value is below the chosen significance level, it suggests that at least one group's mean differs significantly from the others. If various fields including psychology, biology and businesses, ANOVA is widely used to analyze experimental or observational data with multiple groups. It helps uncover differences and understand the impact of different treatments or factors on the response variable. Next, we have time series analysis. Time series analysis is a statistical technique used to analyze and model data that is collected over time and at regular events. It focuses on understanding patterns, trends and dependencies within the time series data. The analysis involves exploring the temporal structure, identifying seasonality, detecting trends and examining autocorrelation. Time series model are IMA that is autoregressive integrated moving average and exponential smoothing are used to forecast future values based on historical patterns. Time series analysis is widely employed in various domains including finance, economics, meteorology and stock market analysis to make predictions identify anomalies and gain insights from time dependent data. Thirteenth one, survival analysis. Survival analysis is a statistical method used to analyze time-to-time -time event data 
where the focus is on the duration until a specific event occurs. It is commonly applied in medical research, epidemiology and social sciences to study survival times such as time to death, relapse or failure. Survival analysis is used to estimate the survival probability over time, a log rank test to compare survival curves between groups and Cox proportional hazards regression to assess the effect of co-varieties on survival. This analysis accounts for censoring which occurs when some individuals do not experience the event by the end of the study, providing valuable insights into the probability and timing of events of interest. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on types of statistical tests. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and we will have it answered as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching, stay safe, keep learning and get ahead. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.